And hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus, and I'm so glad to have this opportunity to speak to you one more time. You know, on my way over here to the auto zone here in Greenwood, Mississippi, I asked myself the question, Eddie, why do you do it? Why are you keeping to the, I mean, just to the cracks, if that's a word. Why are you doing it? This is the question I had to ask myself, and I was serious about it. I was serious as if I was speaking to the powers of the universe. And I had to answer it. And you know what my answer was? Because I've been loved. I was the son of a 13-year-old mother. And from the day I entered into the world, I've been loved. My great-grandparents took me and raised me. And at the time, everybody wanted me. And my sisters and my brothers, my cousins, my, they always loved them, some Eddie B. They lifted me up, they made me feel like I could do anything. And I never had anything, ladies and gentlemen, but share my love back with them. And so as a young man, I could look back at life and what I had experienced. And I had to make a choice about my life, what I wanted my life to be. And then all of the things that I could bring together in my mind, I ended up thinking that to see the human race, at least beginning here in America, having an experience of life and joy and excited about it. If, if, if they could be happy getting up in the morning and knowing that it's gonna be a great day, and when night comes and it's bedtime, they go to bed saying, with a great big sigh, because life has been that good for them that day. I thought about that and I said, wow, that's a good thing. I couldn't think of anything better than that. To see a human being, to see a society committed to one another, just like that. And so I decided, I decided I'd, I'd take that I'd run with it. And ladies and gentlemen, it's been something. It's been a stone gas. There were times when I maybe went a little crazy. Many of you would have said, why? But I'm still here today because it is all good. When I think about the things that I've done, the going to jail for this love that I want you to know, going to prison for this love, I want you to know, being beat up on Navy ships for this love, I want you to know, being, I mean, be little out here talking about this wonderful thing. <laughs> and today, ladies and gentlemen, if the coronavirus was able to grab a hold of me and do its thing, or if any other force was able to just do its thing, it would find me with a great big ball of love and joy in my heart. Because I want you to know, it's stone good. Let me tell you why it's stone good. Because I never gave up. I never gave up. As hard as you might have thought it was being, and it was rough, but I never gave up. Even to this day, I've been talking about you, the people, should never, never put your trust in that which does not care about you. I mean, even today, I'm still, and even though I've been totally rejected at every end, <laughs> I'm still on it. And I wanna thank you for making it so tough for me. It was truly, truly a test. And I can see why anybody would've given up. I can see why so many preachers start preaching for money. <laughs> I can see why people just disappear off the scene. But for this, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. I took the test and I passed. Mm -mm. <clears throat> what the hell was that old thing?